Hello, um, Andrew Kemp here from the UK office. Um, in this video I'm going to be uh, giving you an introduction into Dropbox and explaining to you a bit more about about it and uh, why we use it. Um, I will also be showing you um, how to actually log on into your Dropbox account. Um, on the other videos uh, I'll be telling you a bit more about the other things you can do with uh, with Dropbox. Um, so um, to get started with, um, you should uh, you should basically be on the uh, Travelers Team Intranet site, and you should be on the uh, Dropbox um, instructions uh, website, which looks a lot like this. Um, and um, yeah, basically, I mean, Dropbox is a fantastic tool which basically allows the user to um, to to share information uh, with allocated people anywhere in the world. Um, it works very very similar to the uh, to the folders that you've probably got on your desktop where you store um, your documents in. The difference is with Dropbox is that because it's online um, you can basically share that with um, with other people. So for example if you were to take a whole load of photographs of the volunteers or the accommodation or the project site um, or you were to write a really large document about the country or something that's happening at the moment rather than having to email that over all you need to do is basically put that into your Dropbox um, folder and um, depending on who you've shared that folder with so for example if you've shared that folder with your project coordinator here in the UK office they're able to access the folder they're able to retrieve um, all that information um, there's other things that you can um, do with Dropbox. For example, you can install a um, a Dropbox application onto your smartphone, um, and um, basically it looks a lot like what I've got here in this diagram here. Um, and uh, basically, you have a Dropbox app, and um, what it means is that if you were to um, be at the airport and uh, you realise that you've forgotten the volunteer's biography or other important information. Um, you don't need to panic as long as you've got wireless or 3G. Uh, basically, you're able to um, access the um, uh, the actual Dropbox folder, which where you, where you would have your um, you know documentation information such as the biography, which means you can just download that onto your smartphone, um, which means um, you're able to view that while you're at the airport. Um, so. Um, I mean that's you know just one of the uh, sort of like um, great things about Dropbox. There are other things, uh, but most importantly, it does allow basically the information to be online, so uh, it's not just on your um, just on your desktop. Um, now uh, to to get started, we're going to um, sign on to into um, Dropbox. Um, now in, on this um, website, uh, basically. What you need to do is uh, simply click on the uh, Dropbox uh, link, which is on the top of, the, sorry, on the bottom of the website, um, right down here, website link. Simply click on that, and that will take you to your Dropbox website. Here we go, and it will look a lot like this. Okay, now. Um, by now, for people who have got Dropbox, um, all you need to do is simply um, go into sign in. Uh, for those who don't have Dropbox, uh, this end will be helping you to organize a Dropbox account and will be emailing you the details. So you should receive an email um, a lot like this. And um, as you can see, this one's for, for Fabio. And uh, basically, on there, we've got his um, website, we've got his password and um, all we do is simply um, click on the sign in button and we um, click on the um, email user area and um, we also put in his uh, password and sign in and um, that's it really that takes us into our Dropbox folder um, on uh, on other videos I'll be telling you more about um, what you can do here how to create folders so if you want to continue simply just um, click on the next videos 
Many thanks. Cheers. Bye.